All right, we'll move on to a very fascinating game. 1 p.m. Eastern, Cincinnati Bengals, 4-2, and 2-1 and on the road to the Baltimore Ravens, 5-1, and 3-0 and at home. We're at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, Charm City. We start with the market here in this game. The Ravens open up at 6.5, and, and it's sixes now everywhere. And all the early money came in on the Ravens, and this was – Hard for me to understand because I wanted to bet the Bengals immediately. But seeing all the money on the Ravens just, you know, made me pause. And the Ravens are playing good football. Uh, it's coming back a little bit. So money's coming in now on the Bengals. But this is the situation now. 6,657 tickets in. 33% of the tickets on the Bengals. 29% of cash on the Bengals. Then from a total standpoint, 53% of tickets on the over, 72% of cash on the over. That over sitting at 46 and a half, open at 47 and a half. Most books are still hanging 47. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Bengals come in off a dominating 34-11 win at Detroit. Joe Burrow was in complete control. 19 and 29, 273 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Jamar Chase, four passes for 97 yards. Just a real deep threat, legitimate deep threat. Joe Mixon ran 18 times for 94 yards, caught five passes for 59 yards, and one touchdown. He was having fun out there. They still need to apply more pressure. One sack, four quarterback hits. Logan Wilson continued his very impressive season. This guy's awesome. Six tackles, two tackles for a loss, one interception, fourth interception of the year, sixth interception in his 18-game career. Now, Jackson Carmen returned from the COVID-19 list, but he left the game in third quarter. wasn't feeling well. Samaji P. Ryan was not activated from the COVID-19 list. But this is a very healthy group at this point in the season. Ravens coming off a thorough dismantling of a good Charger squad, 34-6 at home for their fifth straight win. Lamar Jackson, 19-27 for 167 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Mark Andrews caught five passes for 68 yards. Rashad Bateman made his NFL debut, first-round draft pick, after missing the season, beginning of the season with growing problems. Targeted six times, caught four passes for 29 yards. Devonta Freeman, Latavius Murray, and Le'Veon Bell each had at least eight carries in a touchdown. It's impressive. As a team, they ran for 187 yards and 38 carries, but Latavius Murray left in the third quarter with an ankle injury, and he's listed as questionable. Also, center Bradley Bozeman left with a back injury on the first drive of the second half. He's listed as questionable. And Ronnie Stanley, undergo ankle surgery. He's done for the year. Chargers didn't get a point on their first five drives against this Ravens defense held under 16 points for the only second time since drafting Herbert. This secondary deflected seven passes, picked off Herbert once Baltimore held the ball for over 38 minutes. It was domination. And should they be this big of a favorite at home against the Bengals, Pepsi? I, I want to take the Bengals here, but it is, it's still, and I said this, I've said this a couple times about the Bengals already this year. This is a, a team that is learning to be good right now. They're not there yet. They have such – like Burrow is such a tremendous young talent. Jamar Chase is is having a phenomenal rookie season already. Look, on the other side of the ball, you got an experienced coach – uh, you got a team that the core of that team has been together for a long time. They have seen a, just a decimation of their backfield, and they're somehow still running. Well, they're not somehow still running the ball. Uh, Lamar Jackson is is leading the charge, uh, but they got they got touchdowns from Latavius Murray, Le'Veon Bell, and Devontae Freeman this weekend. And if you're wondering who those guys are. Uh, go watch a Pro Bowl from 2016 because those guys were all in it. Uh, it's crazy that they're still getting that kind of production. I want to take the Bengals here, and I think it's maybe too many points uh, because of the fact that, you know, this is a divisional matchup. I think the Bengals are going to come to play. I just think with John Harbaugh on the other side and Lamar Jackson playing – MVP level football, I think it is really, really tough to bet against the Ravens right now. I look, I really thought the Chargers, I thought Justin Herbert was going to ball out and that he didn't. They, they looked, they looked terrible. They look inept. Uh, Baltimore is cooking right now. Uh, they've overcome some early season injuries and they've settled in right now. 
I don't see them taking the foot off the gas at home this week. This is a really tough spot for the Bengals. Very tough spot. And Burgundy, you're absolutely right. Catch all on the Ravens. The Sean Thompson says I he says I think the Ravens are the sharp side, in my opinion. You're right. And the sharps are all over the Ravens. And that's why I didn't move on the Bengals at first offering at six and a half. Uh, listen to this is from Birdie, and I'll pop it. I've already popped it on the screen. We'll pop it up once more. He says, uh, Bengals get rooted here. Rooted. I've tried to warn everyone. Bengals will get beat by good teams. Zach Taylor is a horrible coach. What do you think of that? Uh, he's not wrong. I mean, Zach Taylor's 4-2 and two right now, but he's been pretty terrible since he got there. Uh, what he has is some great weapons offensively. Um, and Burrow's, man, Burrow's been fantastic considering he doesn't have a ton of O-line help. The O-line's obviously been better this year, but I tend to want to agree with him. Like he's he's going to get horribly outcoached by the Ravens in this one. It's, it's why I want the Bengals and the points, but I my, my brains suggest Baltimore. Well, this is a pretty easy stay off right now. Uh, Mississippi Whisper is saying Chargers forced too many passes. Uh, uh, Scott H said Baltimore barely handled the Lions. Uh, that was a w- strange spot there where we were all on the Lions. It was a it was different. It was seeing all the sharp money, and let's just go over it one last time before we move on here. But it's coming back. And I sorry, I said that off the top. This was this was huge towards Baltimore 24 hours ago. This was over 90% of the cash towards Baltimore. So all the early professional money came in on Baltimore. And then just like Burgundy Betts is saying, it's a reverse line movement that is confusing. It's very, very confusing. Uh Gerald Jones says Raven's my best bet as of today. And Gerald Jones knows what he's doing, man. Very good capper. Uh, Al Cervic says Chargers were coming off massive game versus Browns. They and the Browns were done last week before kickoff. Al Cervic, you were absolutely right. And I wish we had had this conversation a few days ago. <sighs> okay, so those are the 1 p.m. games. Those are the 1 p.m. games. 